Hello everyone and welcome to MicroStation Virtual User Conference 2023. This session is about MicroStation and iTwin and how Arcadis is expanding digital delivery. In this session, we'll be looking at how MicroStation and iTwin are working together to deliver data and project files wherever they need to go, including your digital twin. You'll be hearing from Arcadis, a leading company delivering sustainable design, engineering and consulting solutions for natural and built assets. Arcadis' use of digital twins is transforming workflows and helping them achieve better outcomes and delivery. You will learn how utilizing digital twins with existing MicroStation family of products helps shape the future of team collaboration and also optimize delivery for a more sustainable project. Your hosts today are myself, Matt Felton and Dan Eng, both product managers in the MicroStation team. We're here to help MicroStation meet the needs of its users and ultimately make products and features you'll love to use. And we're joined today by our first guest in Canada, Principal Technician and Digital Engineering Coordinator, Dimitri Simbanik. And joining him is our second guest in Australia, Principal Designer, Mark Shamoon. Both are from Arcadis, working in the Australia and Pacific Regional Team. Welcome everyone, thank you for joining us today. So why MicroStation for your infrastructure software solution? MicroStation supports and integrates more than seven times the number of file formats than our competitors without the frustration translations. MicroStation feeds accurate real-time CAD data into iTwin, which is Bentley's cloud-based digital twin platform. And finally, MicroStation's ease of use and interoperability allows for increased collaboration amongst multidisciplinary teams. So let's start the main session now by switching over to Arcadis uh, for today's presentation. Thank you, Matt. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to talk about um, Arcadis in general and uh, today's presenters being myself, Dimitri Shivanj and Mark Shamoon. We're going to discuss how Bentley iTwin is driving Arcadis's digital project excellence for the MicroStation Virtual Conference 2023. I'm going to start off with Arcadis at a glance. I'm proud to introduce Arcadis, a global design and consultancy firm with a rich history dating back to 1888 We've evolved to become a trusted partner known for our innovative approach to digital project delivery, addressing complex challenges in the built and natural environments. At Arcadis, we excel in leveraging digital technologies to streamline project delivery. Our core areas of expertise include digital engineering. We're pioneers in digital engineering, utilizing advanced tools and methodologies to enhance project efficiency and precision. This includes building information model, modeling and digital twins that provide a holistic view of projects data-driven decision-making. We, we harness the power of data analytics and real-time information to make informed decisions throughout the project lifecycle. This not only accelerates project timelines, but also optimizes resources. Collaborative pl platforms. We believe in the power of collaborative digital platforms to foster teamwork across diverse departments and teams. These platforms enable real-time communication, reducing delays and enhancing project coordination. Sustainability through technology. Our commitment to sustainability is deeply intertwined with digital solutions. We implement innovative technologies to create sustainable designs from energy efficient buildings to resilient infrastructure. Digital twin technology. Bentley iTwin is a prime example of our dedication to digital project delivery. It allows us to create comprehensive digital twins that offer insights into project performance, facilitating proactive decision making. Our global presence. Arcadis operates in over 70 countries and our digital approach is woven into every aspect of our projects. We combine local expertise with global best practices, ensuring the digital advancements are a part of our standard project delivery methodology. Our sustainability commitment. Our digital journey also aligns with our sustainability commitment. By utilizing digital tools, we can design and manage projects that have a reduced environmental footprint contributing to a greener future. Clients and projects. We serve a diverse clientele, including governments, municipalities, private sector companies, and non-profit non organizations. Our digital prowess has allowed us to undertake complex projects with efficiency, delivering results that surpass expectations. Innovation technology. Innovation is at the heart of our digital transformation. 
We continually explore emerging technologies and adapt them to enhance project delivery. Our goal is to remain at the forefront of digital innovation in the consultancy and design industry. As a design house, complex interdisciplinary design teams form the backbone of major project delivery at Arcadis. Teams with collaborative and connected workflows produce superior outcomes with benefits extending across the whole project lifecycle. The opposite is true. With siloed, disconnected teams clogging down progress and taking time, money and effort away from quality work. With changing digital requirements and evolving client expectations, how can a delivery environment be created that facilitates seamless collaboration and greater productivity? This is where iTwin comes into play. I'm going to pass it over to Mark Shamoon, who's going to talk about our journey with iTwin from how we started to where we are now. Well, I suppose before I talk about our, our journey into digital twins and iTwin as that as the, the mode or the, the way that we're actually um, getting those digital twins um, into reality, I should probably talk about um, the enablers of, of Kind of what's taken us into the digital space being um, our adoption of new digital 3d modeling platforms uh, like the bentley suite um, of you know open civil and the open products in general like uh, open bridge open roads um, open rail um, all microstation platform products um, in addition to that you know we're looking for a connected workflow we're looking for software which can talk to each other, software which is can can actually speak the same language, be able to exchange data in a in a connected and, and dynamic way. And then also be able to all be hosted in the same environment, like like project wise, for example. And so so our kind of digital journey required us to to be able to model and provide all the data required to input into a digital twin system or into a into a um, federated environment that could actually allow us to be able to to share all that data and iTwin as you can kind of see in this this image here iTwin is actually an extension of that you know it's connectivity into project wise its ability to be able to to use that civil data use all the the, the DGN data that that has uh, full fidelity when it goes into that environment is the natural extension of that connected workflow, which we, we really need moving into this this new age of, of digital delivery. So so kind of talking talking about that, um, if we were to look at the standard components of, of what we are delivering in this day and age in terms of, of software or the software stack, you can kind of see that, you know, a standard project in the civil infrastructure space would include things like um, road pavement and road furniture from software like Open Roads Designer. Now we've got drainage from the drainage and utilities part of Open Roads. We've got structures from Open Buildings, for example, um, and we've got bridges from, from Open Bridge. So we've got all these all these parts that kind of talk to each other, which the designers all use to be able to construct the data that will go into a digital twin environment. But the, the issue that we have is these are very specialized tools. You know, do you really want or even need every single person who needs to review this data in a, in a federated environment? Um, do you actually want them to actually have this software installed in their machines? And do you want them trained to be able to understand how to use the software? Because as the technology is advancing, so is the complexity of the software that we use. So iTwin gives us that let's say external environment um, outside of a specialized CAD machine, for example, to be able to um, view all this information as a single source of truth. You know, and then, you know, pull directly out of the, the connected data environment like project wise. So it kind of is that is that way to actually be able to extract the data and be able to take it into that one environment so it can be actually viewed by external stakeholders in a place where they don't need to be that that specialist um, software operator. So so kind of going going in that 
in that direction. What's the point of a digital twin? Like, you know, why are digital twins kind of, why are they important or why are they coming into play? Well, if you think about um, what we're doing here, building these digital models, we're producing a virtualized representation of what's going to get built out on site. But then what we want to do is we want to keep every all this information, all this data alive for the life of the of the asset. So you're talking about um, all this information that we have here, you know, including the metadata that, that you would be attaching to it. That's the whole point of this metadata to be accessible for the lifetime of the asset for be it for uh, construction, be it for construction management, be it for um, sequencing of construction, be it for maintenance of the asset, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So and and design, of course. So the the whole point of being able to to be able to keep this data alive is to get that value and that retain that information that you've provided for the lifetime of the asset. So iTwin. Um, the, the appeal of iTwin isn't just because it gives us a design review environment, but also the potential to be able to keep that data alive you know, further into the future. So um, as part of that journey, you know, at Arcadis, we've we've been um, looking at iTwin for a few years now, um, or since it's, it's early days, um, about a couple of years ago. Um, and there's been a few, few different projects that we've um, looked at in terms of being able to to see how it can work well for us in terms of developing that that digital twin so you know it started um it started in a, a few different uh, for a few different projects um, a few of those projects um, were quite large scale so um you know initially we threw all we could at it we, we got some of our largest projects, some of our most detailed projects that um, we were constructing. So this one being um, a very large infrastructure project in Sydney, uh, which is recently um, almost been completed. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to see, well, you know, how much data can we throw at it? How much can it handle? And you kind of see here that it's quite a high detailed model um, in, involving a lot of different suites of software, um, you know, from Revit information when it comes to, to structures, to open road civil um, information, to IFC data from a uh, from local software called 12D um, and civil 3D for utilities, for example. So, you know, we're, we're throwing all these different uh, formats together. And the advantage of this is where we have all these disconnected software platforms uh, of various vendors in one environment and we're able to an analyze and be able to interrogate the data. So kind of that was our, our first first look at it. Um, you know, moving from there, um, we then kind of uh, moved on to um, other projects and I'll, I'll hand over to, to Dimitri to kind of talk about that, but um, some projects where then we actually took it even further and incorporated um, the full suite of Bentley Civil Software Thanks, Mark. Here we have another project which we've loaded into the iModel environment. And this project here, we deployed iTwin at the 100% stage. The reason for that was that there's no better time to uh, adopt emerging technologies than right now. It's uh, imperative that we test out and have a look at the enabling components of each application in order to uh, maximize efficiency and collaboration between design teams. We're working in a fast paced environment and I'm gonna run through just a sequence of information that we have within this I model. So the reason why we use iTwin for this project in particular was for comprehensive de detailed design modeling. During the detailed design phase of our road projects at Arcadis in Australia, Bentley iTwin serves as a central platform for creating highly detailed and accurate digital models of the proposed road networks. This includes intricate representations of road alignments, intersections, signage, drainage systems, and all associated infrastructure elements. Most of what you see in this model has been derived from an open suite um, platforms 
that being drainage and utilities, open roads, open bridge modeler. As a first, we've really uh, taken on a lot of the open suite platforms and brought this information into iTwin. Uh, we can do precise row, precise geometry and al alignment analysis. So iTwin allows us to meticulously analyze the geometric properties and alignments of roads. We can fine tune curves, gradients, and cross sections to ensure they comply with Australian design standards while optimizing safety, efficiency, and aesthetics. Realistic visualization and 3D modeling. The platform enables us to visualize the proposed road designs in three-dimensional context. This not only aids our engineering teams in better understanding the designs, but also facilitates communication with clients and stakeholders who can visually assess the project's impact and surrounding environment. Leading on from that, our environmental impact mitigation. In Australia's diverse environmental landscapes, Bentley iTwin aids us in detailed environmental impact assessments. We can precisely model how road construction and operation may affect ecosystems, enabling us to plan mitigations and ensure compliance with environmental regulations. Alignment optimization. So iTwin tools assist in fine tuning road alignments to minimize land acquisition and environmental impacts while adhering to local topography and constraints. This ensures cost effective design solutions. Similarly, integration with BIM data. We seamlessly integrate BIM data into our detailed road designs using Bentley iTwin. This integration allows us to coordinate road projects with other infrastructure elements such as bridges, drainage and utilities. Stakeholder collaboration. iTwin acts as a collaborative hub where our teams, clients and contractors can interact with the detailed design models. This transparency enhances communication and ensures that all stakeholders are aligned with the project's goals. In summary, iTwin plays a crucial role in the detailed design phase of road infrastructure projects undertaken by Arcadis in Australia. It supports precise modeling, alignment analysis, visualization, earthworks analysis, stakeholder engagement, safety assessments, environmental impact mitigation, BIM integration, collaboration, compliance, and optimization all of which contribute to a successful execution of road designs that meet the specific requirements of Australia's diverse infrastructure landscape. Thanks, Dimitri, for that summary. Now, Mark, what potential cost savings do you envision when digital twin technology and data are used to help streamline a project? Okay, so, so data, you know, Dimitri kind of touched on this a little bit in terms of when he was talking about the whole function of a digital twin. But, but also as part of this, this digital delivery that we're providing, data is the focus. So we've got all these nice, pretty 3D objects, you know, very good for visualization, but without the data that comes with them, we don't really have any tangible value or functionality in that. So, you know, how can, how can that be used further downstream in the life of the, of the object without metadata and information linked to that object. So data, um, data, for example, like, you know, here's an example of a, a major infrastructure project um, we've recently completed here in Sydney, a very, very detailed um, digital model, as you can see here, and this is uh, in, in iTwin. And you can kind of see that, you know, if you look at an object, you'll see that we have a lot of data that is actually um, linked to that. You know the, the data which is required by the the, the maintainer and the the prop the, the asset owner for example you know there's a lot of different information that's been used for their asset management processes and their databases you know, including classification so you know everything that needs to be in this model it's not its function is not for visualization it is there to provide information for other stakeholders in the, the life of that asset. So, um, and then going back to talking about the actual formats. So, so this is a really good example. So here, similar to kind of the example I showed earlier, you know, here you can kind of see that we have road barriers and we have pavements which were produced 
from DGNs, you know, coming out of, of the Open Roads products. Now we've got um, Revit information, you know, Revit information that's come from from Autodesk products. Um, we've got utility information here, which has come from uh, Civil 3D, for example. We have this drainage, uh, stormwater drainage objects, which have come from from IFC, from from other software. So. What this is allowing us to do, it's allowing us to bring this all together, but also to bring it together in a way with where data is aligned, data is, is consistent, even though it's coming from different places. So um, using the synchronization process, we're able to pick these out of our CDE project wise and be able to publish it into this one area where the data is all aligned. And just to kind of top this off is, this is actually an example where um, for this project, we actually got all those data formats from a, a different container type format. Um, but what I mean by that, this is actually a uh, part of the data here is actually from a Navisworks uh, NWD published file. So if you're talking about uh, Revit information and Bentley Civil information and all these different formats coming together, we're even able to bring in that the data container. That was actually so for example if i go to um this file over here you'll see this that's actually a container of all these different data sources so not only can we actually pick up the actual specific model outputs of other software but we can also pick up containers other federated model software packages and actually bring it into this one space so it's kind of something which is um we're having a lot of of kind of luck with in terms of being able to to really um, cater for a very large amount of different data sources um, and be able to kind of, you know, provide um, a very quick and easy way to bring that all together in an environment which where the data can be reviewed and, and analyzed quite simply and quite easily. Okay, so in terms of, of formats that we can bring in, uh, one thing we have found is the, the support for the many different application formats is fantastic. Like it kind of does cater for every bit of software that we use internally here at Arcadis. Um, so I mentioned Navisworks, but um, you know, if you were to look at the, the connectors that are available, you know, you've got AutoCAD DWG for civil 3D information and AutoCAD information. Um, you've got AutoPlant, which is not something we use. You've got the civil information being the, the DGN, um, open roads, open rail, open bridge information, uh, civil 3D. Sorry, that's civil 3D over there. The other one's just AutoCAD. Uh, concept station, which we don't really use concept conceptually very often. Uh, IFC, which we get out of for our stormwater drainage out of 12D software. Microstation, let's say CAD data. Navis works, open buildings, Revit, et cetera, et cetera. So you kind of see that there's quite a lot of um, support here. They do get updated quite regularly, um, but that is one big advantage we're finding in the iTwin environment is the support of almost every format that we could ever need to use, much greater than the actual format, uh, the formats available for interoperability between the desktop platforms. So. Um, regarding the data side of things, um, support is um, is quite good and uh, something that um, is a, a big uh, advantage for us looking at this as a as a data environment for um, sharing of information and consolidation of that information amongst bigger teams. Okay, so um, one thing we are finding uh, with the more the more and more digital projects that we do is that we are seeing a tangible reduction in the amount of errors and omissions that are coming from site. So, uh, you know, traditionally we used to have a lot of uh, errors that, that used to come back from site in terms of things that were never envisaged in terms of utilities or um, coordination between different disciplines. Uh, but what we are finding with the, as time goes on with the digital projects, because of the, the greater amount of uh, engagement uh, between the different stakeholders during the design phase. 
um, and also the increased visibility of potential issues during the design phase that we are spending more effort actually um, resolving potential design issues during design that don't materialize during the construction phase. So although it's a bit too early to actually quantify a number to that, uh, what we are finding is that it is actually a noticeable, a noticeable difference. You know, so for example, like you know, it would be unheard of um, in previous times to be able to be able to visualize um, very, very complex, uh, complex situations where um, there are is a high level of potential clashes. You could do it, but it's a lot of it is is um, lacking a high level of precision. Um, but currently with the use of these digital technologies and the digital design process that we're able to quickly visualize in a, in a way that is easily accessible to a lot of people, um, even people who are not necessarily from a technical background, to be able to see what our potential issues would be in terms of um, design coordination and also be able to visualize that and compare that. So I'll pass it on to Dimitri where he can talk about, about this a little bit more. But um, yeah, it's um, just getting better from here on. Thanks, Mark. Let's focus on potential cost savings when digital twin technology and data are used to streamline road design projects in Australia at Arcadis using iTwin. We have early issue detection, so iTwin enables the early detection of design issues in road projects by identifying and rectifying these issues during the design phase. Costly rework during construction is minimized, leading to significant cost savings. Optimized design decisions. Design, digital twins provide real-time data simulations that help road design teams make optimized decisions. This includes selecting the most cost-effective road alignments, materials, construction methods, and reducing unnecessary expenditures. Accurate quantity takeoffs. Detailed digital twins generated by a twin aid in accurate quantity takeoffs. This ensures that materials are ordered in the right quantities, avoiding overpurchasing and waste, which can lead to cost savings. Efficient resource allocation. With real-time data, project managers can allocate resources, such as labor and equipment, efficiently from design teams to construction, and avoid overallocation of shortages or shortages helps control costs in road construction projects. Mitigation of schedule delays. Digital twins allow for better project planning and scheduling, reducing the risk of scheduled delays. Avoiding delays saves money by minimizing disruptions and penalties for late delivery. Remote monitoring and control. Bentley iTwin facilitates uh, remote access because it is a cloud-based platform. So if there's any weekend work that needs to happen or a coffee at a coffee shop, this platform can be accessed remotely wherever you are in the world. This enables clear design team collaboration and effective use of resources. In summary, iTwin technology is instrumental in streamlining road design projects in Australia at Arcadis. It helps to identify and address issues early, optimize design decisions, allocate resources efficiently, and enhance collaboration among stakeholders. These measures result in significant potential co cost savings in road design and construction projects. So to Mark, um, for our final question today, we would love to hear more about how you collaborate with other departments and teams through the use of our software and how it's helping to speed up um, your communication and delivery. All right, so um, yeah, so in terms of, uh, in terms of our adoption of of Bentley software. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on being early adopters of um, the Bentley civil technologies and, and just generally the Bentley technologies themselves, you know, that being whether it's it's open roads or iTwin, it is something that we jump on pretty quickly to, to really push to its limits for some of our biggest and greatest projects. But naturally, the adoption of early technologies like iTwin um, inherently in, involves some challenges, you know. So 
Um, in terms of, of our journey from, you know, this is a, as an infant product and, and to where it is now, um, you know, we have had a lot of challenges when it comes to the synchronization of data, you know, being um, a developing technology. Um, there have been quite a few issues we've had to resolve in terms of the, you know, being able to schedule and to, to include all the data sources that come into play. Um, it is getting better, but um, it is one place that um, we have struggled with in the past. Um, and in terms of kind of um, the the use of of iTwin in terms of collaborating, um, using it as a collaboration device between disciplines, um, it has been a massive success in terms of being able to have all your data in a federated environment, but then also being able to geometrically and precisely measure your design. Um, you know, that's the one difference between this and a lot of the other federation platforms is that uh, a lot of those other platforms you cannot actually use them for precise geometric measurements or measuring. You know, you don't have the ability to have alignment based calculation and measurements and some of the more advanced validation tools that are inherent to civil design. Um, and, and civil engineering calculations and and checking and validation. So that's kind of um, you know where we're at. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll hand it over to Dimitri just to to maybe have a, a final um, a final description. Thanks, Mark. I think it's important to identify the challenges that we've faced along the way and our perseverance um, at Arcadis to not only uh, look at emerging technologies and what their capabilities are, but also to have a look at how we can better define the user interface to help us along the way. We've noticed that we've had some instability issues with the connector, uh, which we've directly worked with the Bentley development team to address. Uh, graphic perf graphics performance due to machine specs, uh, synchronization failures on connections, and that is that comes down to the size of our models. It's important that we address the size of the models at the early stages and bring the development team into our data source in order to have a look at in depth what is causing those issues and address them within the environment itself. We've also had to have a look at the training and support of iTwin. So it's a lot of uh, collaborative work on a national level to make sure that we're consistent, not only in our practices, but it's also how we generate the data within the connector. Uh, consistency is the key at Arcadis, and we pride ourselves in maintaining that. Collaboration with respect to new functionality, uh, new adopters will uh, find ways to utilize the platform in different ways. So we find that the more people that we have in the environment, the faster that we grow. Uh, that is uh, evident in all our adoption in the open suite platforms. Uh, raising issues. So we found that uh, competition with mature and established software applications uh, such as Revisto has been a challenge. And we're comparing software applications with iTwin to enhance the user interface and functionality. Uh, this has inevitably taken some time to work with the Bentley development team, but being an open source platform, we see a lot of benefits and opportunities to surpass other applications that are currently available. Talking about collaboration, and stakeholder engagement, iTwin fosters collaboration among stakeholders, reducing miscommunication and delays. Efficient collaboration can lead to cost savings by avoiding disputes and keeping the project on budget. Data-driven decision-making, iTwin provides data analytics and simulations that enable data-driven decision-making. This includes choosing cost-effective road design options, materials, and maintenance strategies.
Regulatory compliance. Ensuring that road projects comply with Australian regulations and standards from the outset can pre prevent costly retrofits or delays during construction and maintenance. Similarly, to have success in um, a platform like iTwin, it requires software champions who are subject matter experts in identifying key issues early on and being there as a support and an interface between the development teams and the uh, design house or design team on major projects. Uh, developing the software during project delivery on a major project can actually be quite a task, which is outside of your uh, traditional work hours. Luckily at Arcadis, we have uh, collaborative teams uh, that only work on a national level, but also discuss new functionality and features on a global level, internally and with Bentley. Thank you for letting us present today and over to you, Matt. Okay, great. Thank you so much, guys. We've come to the end of our session today. We hope everyone enjoyed hearing how Dimitri and Mark have been expanding their use of Digital Twins and Bentley products at Arcadis, which has helped enable a better understanding of data, teams to collaborate more efficiently and the ability to deliver projects in a more sustainable way. Dan and I would like to thank you, uh, Dimitri and Mark, for your insights and thoughts on MicroStation and Digital Twins. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing how your projects progress in the future. Um, so thank you. Thank you for letting us present today. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to showcase our capabilities within iTwin and how far we're pushing emerging technologies in collaboration with Bentley. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.